Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing hydrazine sulfate. Hydrazine sulfate is a white crystalline solid that is used very commonly in lab as a relatively non-toxic substituent for hydrazine hydrate. We will be using the hypochlorite ketacin pathway for the synthesis. Materials required include 250 ml of 25% ammonia, 186 grams of 10% sodium hypochlorite, 100 ml of methyl ethyl ketone and 0.2 grams of gelatin. These are all the reactants arranged after accurately measuring them. Start by taking 200 mg of unflavored gelatin and add it into 250 ml of 25% ammonia. Place the beaker on a hot plate stirrer and stir to dissolve the gelatin in ammonia. Next we add the 100 ml of methyl ethyl ketone to the ammonia solution. This should be done with constant stirring. Let it stir for 5 to 10 minutes so that it is mixed well. Place a watch glass on top of the beaker so that ammonia vapors would not escape out of the beaker. Now we place the beaker in an ice bath with stirring. Next we need sodium hypochlorite solution that is the bleach. I have here 186 grams of 10% hypochlorite. I pour it into a separatory funnel and then arrange it in such a way that it's over the beaker containing the ammonia and methyl ethyl ketone. Now slowly open the knob of the separatory funnel and let the sodium hypochlorite fall into the beaker. The major reaction that is happening here is ammonia reacts with methyl ethyl ketone and sodium hypochlorite to form methyl ethyl ketosin and sodium chloride. Sodium hypochlorite should be added slowly and ammonia should be present in excess to prevent the unwanted side reactions from happening. Anyway, some amount of chloramine would be formed so we should be doing this in a well ventilated area or in a fume hood with all the necessary personal protective equipments. Once the hypochlorite is added completely, we pour it into a separatory funnel and let it stand overnight so that the two layers separate. Here you can clearly see the two layers separated. The upper layer is the methyl ethyl ketosine and the lower aqueous layer can be discarded. Now we make a dilute sulfuric acid solution by dissolving 20 ml of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid to 100 ml of distilled water with stirring. The ketacin was taken from the separatory funnel and placed into a beaker and now we add the hot sulfuric acid into the ketacin all at once. Stirring should be continued. The solution was then heated at 80 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. In the hot acidic solution, the Methyl ethyl ketacin hydrolyzes to form hydrazine sulfate and methyl ethyl ketone is regenerated. After 30 minutes of heating, the solution was then cooled down in an ice bath. And here you can see that the hydrazine sulfate crystals have settled down at the bottom of the beaker. It was then filtered. I am using a simple gravity filtration method to filter out the filtrate and the hydrazine sulfate is retained in the filter paper. I again boil down the filtrate and cool to get a second crop of crystals. And here is the final yield of hydrazine sulfate. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.